all right guys ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel and today we'll be playing a game alan awake and this is not a new game this is an old game but unfortunately the part two of this game is coming out um early next month october 17 so i thought why not just you know i've not played this game actually why not just give the first part a go before the other part comes out on um, october so i hope maybe um you enjoy the video as well as i would i will and um let's do this easy nightmare okay i can't play the nightmare so i'll go with normal let's do this Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. and this game is a story based game first person shooter game and also um a survivor horror vivid imagination but this dream unsettled me it was wild and dark and weird even by my standards so yes it began with a dream following a typical nightmare pattern i was late desperately trying to reach my destination a lighthouse for some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Whoa! I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. What the hell? What are you doing in the middle of the road? What were you doing in the middle of the road? He was dead. Fuck! I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. All right. This is a nightmare. Suddenly, his body was gone. Yeah, episode one. I was in shock nightmare. From the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. All right. I guess we are on. So this is um, a story based on um, game survivor horror. And also an adventure look up or oh, all right that's look up the light reverse your controls for looking up and down no you can change camera settings to the menu all right work all right there's something i need to check that is for subtitles if you have all right nice it has subtitles background i don't know how video commentary i don't know about that one i think we are good to go who um l1 to sprint let's check out the controls oh nice pretty slick checkpoint reached okay I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Okay, it seems to be gets tired if he runs too much. You have a stamina bar. Lighthouse. Get to the lighthouse. All right. Um, let's check out what we have here. If I can tell. Okay, we're supposed to go this way. Okay, this way to the lighthouse. Checkpoint rich. Rich. That dude didn't die. Are you for real? What? You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? Okay. You're in this story now. Oh. I don't know if I'm supposed to run this way. Okay, I think so. 
That's that's the way to the lighthouse. Hold on. Um, I think the subtitles uh, I need to yeah a little bit too large. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. Okay. Uh who jump? I don't think we're going to be friends. You can dodge enemy attacks. Press L1 to dodge. Fucking shit. Okay. Good work. Successful dodge sometimes. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Oh. So um characters from the story he is a writer so characters from the story that he's writing uh what is haunting him am i getting it right that's it so jesus okay sprint oh lord so from your creation your own imagination, maybe fiction or whatever, that you wrote about, that is what is haunting him. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And he gets tired by, from running too much. Okay, we are tired. Out of standing, you know. Come on, come on, come on. You don't want to die from fictional characters. In the hands of fictional characters. Get to the house. Um, sir, can you get in? Why is the door closed? What? Why? Uh, oh no, I don't think that gun is doing anything to them. Okay. I an eye on TV. What the fuck? Can we shut that off? Crap. Uh oh, uh oh. Is there a way out here? Come on. How do I get out? What is happening for Christ's sake? Shit. I'm dying. Follow the light. Okay, go into the light. Oh, nice, nice mechanics. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this For you did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean gleam where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports, I've been. To its ports, I've been. Do you understand? No. No. Follow my light. Follow the light. So that's what I will keep doing. This is this whole thing is just a nightmare. Just everything is on our head right now. It's not real, but we have to escape this nightmare. 
Okay, that's ammo. Nice. Okay, pick up the light. Okay, nice. Inside battery. Oh. You did it. Now the dark is no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He's still your enemy. Uh -huh. Take the gun. Pick up the revolver. Pick up the revolver. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Now you Okay. Come on. Oh, the battery runs out. Why do I have why do they have to make the battery run out? Whoa. Reload. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Okay, so that's the way to survive. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on earth. Alright. Get to the house. Okay, now we don't have to survive and shoot. I think I need some ammo. Um, limit reach. And this um torch that we have. It seems it seems to run out of batteries. I hope um it doesn't run out of batteries in because of getting to the house. Get to the lighthouse. Alright, this way, not the other way. So I was going the wrong way. Check my fish. Okay. Oh. Nice. This is it. Okay. Come on. Yes. That does it. At least it's nice to know that the light doesn't the um, torch doesn't go off and the batteries are still intact. I thought we were gonna run out of batteries. Unlike the first time. Okay, stay in the light to regain our health. Nice. What do we have here? Flare gun. Nice. Get some gun ammo. Flare gun ammo. Okay. To switch weapons and throwables. Oh. Okay. That is our normal gun and this is a flare gun. Alright. Good to know. Oh, now we have more enemies. Come on, reload, 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 reload. Reload, reload. Nice. I hope that's all of them. I love how... Um, I'm loving it so far. Come on. Okay, this is getting intense. 
Where did he fall to? Hope he's not coming back. Yep. I can keep this up Head to the lighters. Oh lord. Woo! Oh! Come on! Jeez! And we are tired! Come on, you don't have to be tired right now. If not, you will die tomorrow. Come on. Let's get on with it. Get to safety first. I think there's something here. Get inside, get inside. Shit. Yep, finally. What the hell is that? I don't I hope we don't run out of light in here because this thing seems to be working with darkness. He's here. Alan, wake up. <gasps> Shh, baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Does that happen right. often? Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. So we pretty have um pretty much have these nightmares often. If in Nigeria they will say that one a sickness, you need to be delivered. Take you to the pastor so that he will deliver you from your nightmares. <laughs> they will say you are possessed in Nigeria. If that happens to you, often, or you probably be called a witch checkpoint reached let's act like we're on vacation go stand next to that old gentleman there i want a shot of you with the town in the background <laughs> sure i'll even give you a title for the shot a city boy pose for Always alex oh alex there. alex my lady alex in wonderland hello there what a beautiful name good time to visit our town deer fest is just two weeks away Deer mm. fest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? So we are kind of um. You have a lovely wife, uh, if you don't mind me saying. I, I'm Pat Bain, We are being shipped. Our cars are being shipped uh, in a ship, which means maybe we are coming from somewhere far away. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host of the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, oh. I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Sir, can you keep your mouth shut? Can you be discreet about this meeting? We don't want to, you know, get so much paparazzi around because we're on vacation with our lovely wife nice. here alex i got a couple of really good ones mm. see so you made a friend that's cute <laughs> yeah hey bestseller that was my favorite writer are you there yet very yeah we just got it. are the locals giving you trouble just say the word and i'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone al no barry we're fine great great just want to make sure you can relax and recharge so, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love right. you too, Barry. Hmm. You know Our buddy. I'll be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? And who is that? Is that the Barry? Let's check what we have here. 
Hello, sir. Humpy. What's your name? Come on, let's get back to the car. Okay, we're almost there. Get in. Get back to the car. All right. Who is that car? I thought it was this one. Oh, this one. Nice. We need to stop at the local diner to get the What brand is this? Some an American vehicle. We don't obviously see this type of vehicle around in Nigeria. Sure. Don't know what brand it is. Alan. I think it's an American. I love you American vehicle. I promise to behave. Uh, for one thing, I think this um this game has a lot of cutscene. Everybody. Welcome to the Odier Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. Can you keep it to yourself? I'm on a vacation. Of course, Mr. Wake. I don't want too much. Paparazzi. I can't believe it. Find Carl Stucky. All right. I got the cut out from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. Um. And to keep it here. Well, uh, there's okay. no way here. Good for you. Alan, a week. We do have um picture examining. So uh, we're. Right. So much Just don't blame me vacation. when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty hmm. here is no longer here. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. Uh, please, I don't want any copyright strike. I need, I, if you are playing any music, I think I will have to mute it out. Hello, Grandma. Oh, it's not a Grandma. I can handle it now. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as She's not a Grandma. At least she's a young lady. Overeager fans always did. Um, is there a, um, is there something here? Okay, I think that's locked. What about this one? Okay, that's female bathroom. We don't want to be going in there now. Come on. Hello. Okay, this this one is the main bathroom. Mr. Stucky. Couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. Your cabin? And to meet your wife. How do you know we are here I with our wife? Thanks. Creepy. Creepy old woman. So we are supposed to meet Stucky to give us a um, key to the apartment that we supposed to lodge for our place. vacation Very inspiring. that we booked for our vacation but instead of meeting Stucky you got lucky this time young man we meet you can hurt yourself in the dark. a creepy old woman really ought to be fixed, and then I must... who is not Stucky that sounds better than your singing are you alright? use the jukebox oh okay this was a music um grandpa here was or was requesting let's give him something to listen to staff only okay i don't think we should go in there that is the kitchen and i'm pretty hungry right now i think that is that we are done here anderson's they're uh local musicians we're waiting for dr hartman to come pick them up all right goodbye mission accomplished the key and the directions my hero there's something off about that old lady that i don't trust hey wait mrs wake your your keys oh i knew it mr stucky so that lady gave us the wrong key if i had the wrong house holy crap can you believe this place we're out for something dangerous here we're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. 
I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And now the weather. It's going to be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Uh, I think I'll have to mute some of this music out. I don't know. I don't want YouTube to give me some copyright strikes because of some music. So I'll mute it out. And we are at the wow. location that creepy old lady so gave us. Right. Don't worry. Go to the cabin. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia, the fear of darkness. Ooh. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Hmm. Phobia for darkness. And especially if you are in a creepy place like this all alone. In a house that you are being directed to by a creepy old woman. You have to be pretty scared, you know. It's dark all in there. All Can right. You figure out how to get the power on, honey. Okay, sweetheart. Okay. Is that mean? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? And who is that? Hold on. I thought I heard someone. Goes to that shed over there. I hit someone. What was it? Get the power on. All right, hold on. Maybe, just maybe. Um, here it thinks. Let's. Okay, I think this is not where we're supposed to go. There's probably a fuse box or a generator in the shed. Okay. What is this? The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Hmm. For us. So we are in a romantic vacation slash dates. Nice. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Can we start? Can the generator? So is this still working? No. Okay. Nice. I hope it doesn't go off. Wow. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. Let's see what we have here. The game pretty the game has a lot of cutscenes. It was a beautiful place. No, well, maybe because maybe because of the story. Here. Sleep here and forget about my work. That's why it's called a vacation. I thought we could be happy here. Thought which means thought the past tense. Which means you are not going to be happy here for some reason. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Return to Alex. Mm. I feel like I don't know. 
Alex? Say my wife, uh, Alex is, I'm is scared of the here. dark and I feel like something bad. So one way or the other, the light is eventually well, going to go off. Hello Ooh. There. I'm not the surprise. It's mm. been steady. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Go to the study. Um. Surprise. Okay. Typewriter. I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn, Alice. Oh crap. Dude, everyone. Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Doctor Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not. Okay. Alan. Alan. I don't. Just don't. I don't want to hear it. God. Damn it, Alice. Whoa, 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 calm down, bro. Oh, God he's pretty damn. angry. I knew she he wanted in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. He wanted um, a safe place to escape everything that is going on in his head, the nightmares, too much thinking, you know. Somewhere you can just, but unfortunately, she brought work still. And. I hope you remember that your wife is scared of the dark. Oh God. Alex Allen. E E. Nim. Oh Lord. Alan, where are you? I'm coming, baby. Alex, it's all right. I'm coming. Whoa, 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 whoa. We also have to dodge the birds. Okay, I'm coming. I'm almost there. Alice? Alice? Whoa. Oh no. What? <gasps> what? Keep going. Um, what is going on? From one nightmare to another, like waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. So, um, I think the nightmares are kind of. I'd have to find help on foot. All right. Checkpoint reached. I feel like um, these are who key get what Among is here. Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Okay, I think um, this whole nightmare of routine is happening. Um, the perception of everything is. Based on his worst nightmare. Bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Okay. Gag station. So I think everything is based on his worst nightmare. Like whatever he fears the most is what is happening in his nightmares okay so get into the gax reach the gas station the game is pretty smooth i love it so far and it's totally driven Um, hold on. The lights. What do we have again? Hello? Someone What's... there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. 
That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. Whoa. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Axe murderer in the woods at night? And we are in the woods. You have found manuscript pages. You can assist them with the um, bridge button. Axe murderer in the woods. And currently, we find ourselves in the woods. And we are the author. We are the author of this book. Hmm. Coincidence? I don't think so. Do we still have our torch? No, we don't have. I don't think. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Um, I don't think those are friendly people. We should be weary of whoever or whatever we are seeing right now. Follow the lights. Follow the lights. Whatever the you lights do. up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Hmm. So hopefully we'll find some friendly neighbors that can borrow us a phone so that we can make some call. Um, okay. Hmm. How did the tree get? Find help. Please, I've been in an accident. Help, help. Hey, help me. Hey, you. Phil, there's been an accident. I need help. Listen, I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Do you think that person is going to help you? Carl Stucky. That's Carl. Carl, the dude that we are supposed to take our our apartment keys from, find her. Manuscript. Oh God. Whoa. Premium cabin. Fuck. Get in the light, get in the light, get in the light. Yep. Whoa. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in the shining. Oh, he did wrote about he did write about um a crazy man in the dark in the woods with an axe. Who is now Carl Stucky, our Okay, revolver ammo. Call for help. What is this? Oh, we have a telephone here. Is it working? Yes. In Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Hello? Oh, this place is falling apart and I think car stuck it outside is gonna cut off the electricity. Oh no. That would Carl Stucky with a British tractor. Jesus. What is this guy doing? Jeez, Carl Stucky. You need to calm down, bro. Come on, reload, 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 reload. My head pounded with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Nah. There were no bodies. Uh, you don't have to feel bad. If I was dreaming, it felt real nice. Okay, that was a light. At least if we step in the light, they can't um they can't get in the light. That's nice. Reach the gas station. Hold on, there is some things here that we can interact with and I don't know how. Kick? 
I don't know. The dark forest feel like... was the last place I wanted to go. Why is that light blinking? Choice. Come on. I had to get to the gas station. Okay. Okay, to the gas station. All right. It's rabbit season. Come on. Fucking hell. Do we have anything here? Do we have some ammo. Alright, revolver ammo and batteries. Nice. Uh, so those are the collectibles we need to wash out for in this game. I think there's something glowing here. I don't know. Yes. Manuscript. More from the pages of our unwritten book. Um, manuscript. Alright. Okay, sh we have read this one. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. At least it's nice that he he the reads. Me. He, it was these... impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Okay, that's nice that at least he can he reads the manuscript. Okay, let's um, um read this she one. Had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty confident at ease with wake not like rose they were perfect for each other she'd have given anything to be called their friend okay so what we now have to do is to so find the missing pages and probably read everything accordingly so that we can get the whole story and everything that happened straight what happened here oh 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 shit so those um spark holes spark from the wires they damage our health where are you show yourself what the hell was that uh imagine there's a boss fight in this game i just thought of it right now imagine there's a boss fight as somebody superior being or like these guys we normally kill like how long will it take when for us to saw the river below something uncoiled itself inside my head i realized that i'd have to find a way across okay. i didn't even want to look at the water yeah cruxing imagine there's a bigger you know being or whatever these guys are that we have to fight in the event of this game that would be mad Okay, um, can we cross here? I think so. Um, where are you? Stucky was still out there in the door. Oh, that's Stucky. <laughs> what a name, Stucky the Stalker. Stucky the Stalker. Uh, I think Stucky will probably be the big or the first boss or something fight that we're going to fight in this game. Mm, probably. Uh, I think there was some. There's some stuff going in that crate over there, but I don't know if we can get to it. 
I don't think we can get into it, so let's just focus on the mission ahead. Shop point rich. Jeez! Come on, reload. Fucking shit. Come on. Reload. Is this guy dead? Oh, he's dead. Bastard. Out of batteries. Jesus. That is my biggest fear since I started this game. Like running out of batteries. Oh my god. That is definitely not good. It's not looking good, brev. It's not looking good. Uh, oh god. How do we fight if we have run out of batteries? He's talking. I was supposed to go this way. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. All right, thank God we have some ammo and some batteries. Four batteries, nice. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Okay. Generator. Find the generator. Okay, I think there's something blinking that way. Hopefully that's the gen. That's the way to the generator. Hold on. You guys should calm down. Just don't Oh god. Come on. I have time for you. Oh God. Oh shit. Nice. I love the way they dodge. Come on. Get up, me. Yeah. The time is up, brah. Batteries. Okay. That's the chain. And I think I'm out of batteries again. Okay. Power. Power to the people. Okay. Oh, we needed the power, the electricity to be able to power this um Yes. Reach the power above. Hold on. Before going. I think I need to um Oh manuscript. Nice. That's the beauty of exploration. When you explore games like this, you tend to miss out on a lot of things, a lot of stuff. So, uh, I think, alright, I don't have to be, I wanted to see if there's some bullets and um, probably batteries for our flashlights, because it, it seems like the batteries are more, even, uh, more important than the bullets, because the driver has those fucking evil spirits from these creatures or whatever they, can, they are called. Okay, so this uh, log is lower. It's lower than the rates. Okay, that's it. 
I hope that works. works perfect yeah i saw something here oh that was nothing are you come on that's just the share i thought there was um something we could take here all right checkpoint which reach the gas station and i don't have any flash okay was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now but if you're still up and around take a moment step outside for a spell and breathe in deep mm, the weather is absolutely still the sky is crystal clear it's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you mm, yeah crazy people in your forest when it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Maurice Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing. All right. Oh, so you have more manuscript here. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the street. Belly Monster is the best with no coat. Monster dog <coughs> is second best. The famous dog is. What is happening here? Okay. You guys can't touch me here, right? Yeah. You can't touch me here. Where is he? You can't touch me when I'm in the light. Haha. <laughs> that is that. Make a run for it towards the light. Yeah, that is where we are heading to. Oh, God. Batteries, batteries. Reload. Woo! Come on. Come on, reload. There's two more. Out of batteries. Out of fucking batteries. Yep. I think that would do it. Wow. Um Okay, uh hopefully we can get some batteries here. Step into the lights, make sure now let's reload because we don't know what to be expecting as of this moment right now okay. 
Rocky, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, buddy. Okay. Two. Oh, this is guys. Oh god. Batteries. Fuck. Um, how do we get this gate open? Oh, I was supposed to go in here. Maybe. Oh, lithium batteries, nice. Because without batteries, I feel like. Okay, we have a shotgun. Okay, we don't have any more, anything more here to take. What are we watching? A commercial? Quantum suicide. Um, are these the people that made uh, Quantum Break? The, the same developers. Uh, I love. Uh, I I would love to play that game someday because I've watched some few clips about about the game and it seems interesting to have that experience. And I'm glad so many of you could join me here. At the Moorcock Institute. I want to know what this guy have to see. A practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded nine millimeter pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did hmm. you say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Please, please. Stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Okay. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. I think Not some scientific so. experiment is going Observe on here. Power pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. Hmm. With each pull of the trigger, That's two Juju. realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire. And one where it did. We we'll call it Juju in Nigeria. That this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. <laughs> Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. So, hmm. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and my brain won't blue. Always do happen somewhere. The point is, this Ooh. one thing did that not thing is unplugged. Happen here. That thing is unplugged. Colvin? Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? Okay, okay. Um. Hello, sir. Poor, poor Dr. Colvin, filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat. Yes. Whoa, that is unfortunate. To have happened to the doctor over there. I wonder who 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 was the person responsible for tripping the wire. Okay, now that is done. Okay. Um. Creepy. We have our friends here. Where are you? Show yourselves. Shh. 
show yourself. Bridge the gas station. Sad batteries. Nice. It's our batteries. I'm almost out of batteries now. I'm almost out of batteries. Okay. I don't think this is working. What the fuck? What the fuck? Come on, give me, give me something, give me something. This opening. I'm out of bullets here. Okay, and I'm also out of. Whoa! 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 Vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Stucky. I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. That was Stucky. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Okay, I guess we are in this. We are at the gas station now. That's a little bit of good news. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting, at least for a moment. At least. The same world reasserted itself. At least we are out. Of the woods now. More manuscript. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment. Then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Okay. Uh, we have some TV at the gas station. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. This is a true love story. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Okay. Um, the garage into the garage. Was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right, I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only. So darkness. this was the previous manuscript we just saw just now. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it. <laughs> we are watching ourselves going crazy on this on TV. She's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV. <laughs> I'm going crazy. I'm crazy. Was I losing my mind? Of course. Um, the 68th annual TFS, September 5th, 
18 to 18 games and activities, raffle ticket, fishing competitions, pie contest, surprise competition, live music for children. Buck talked, bucked, tooted, tooted, sorry, tooted, Charlie Afternoon and Moon, Go Mary, the Mystic Amazing, Fantos, Magoria, or oh, this part right to disgrace me here. Don't miss the legendary DFS parade. All right got it um uh, is there find the phone find the phone all right let's if we are going to look for a phone it should be somewhere here right yes is it working that's a f right ball sheriff station oh thank goodness it's working At least it's nice and safe that we have them. Um... Thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are. I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. What are you saying? I can take you there. My okay? wife died. You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station. Okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? Oh, Stucky's dead. I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Fortunately for us, Stucky is supposed to be our... I don't know, tour guide or whatever he's supposed to be. Supposed to give us the keys to our apartment. But somehow, he's. he gone freaky freaky. And we have to take him out. Sorry about that. Oh, this is the lake. Are you serious? Oh.